given how disruptive this past few years have been, the question now is, what are the changes and the opportunities that lie ahead? And how can we make sure that we're ready for them? In many ways, the future has arrived way ahead of schedule. I mean, I've spent 18 years studying where the world's heading from a technology and demographic standpoint. This is massive. Oren Harari was famous for saying this. I love this insight. He said, remember the electric light never came from the continuous improvement of candles. It did not matter how good you got at making candles, how pure that light was, how long the candle lasted. There came a point where a fundamental revolutionary rethink was required. Revolution doesn't mean chucking everything from the past out. It's about okay, how do we take the things that we're good at and repurpose them. We need to think audacity, not security, if we're going to stay relevant and at the cutting edge over time. The pace of change means we can never stand still for long. The moment you think you've made it, you've passed it. It is vital right now that you and I focus on tides and not waves. You think of what a wave is. A wave is loud and it's exciting, but it crashes ashore and then it retreats. But over time, a changing tide will reshape the entire coastline. To tell us more, we welcome back uh, futurist and author Michael McQueen. Hello, mate. Nice to see you again. So the metaverse is essentially using technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, to create a digital replication of the real world. So for this younger generation, the way they're communicating is radically different, particularly in a social context. What happens for a generation of kids for whom they prefer the virtual world than the real one? It is just as important that we all take steps to make sure that we are prepared and future fit. Where we're heading next is we're heading toward an economy and a marketplace where we're going to see products and services developed, not to sell in the real world that you encounter in VR, but actually are only designed to be experienced in a virtual realm. The whole remote collaboration piece, that is the space to watch over the next few years. Resisting change is a little bit like trying to hold your breath. Even if you are successful, okay, it is not going to end well.